everybody. Erica here with the Pink Buckaroo Facebook Friday. I am happy it's Friday. It's been a long week. Hopefully you guys are almost done with the week if you're working and hopefully you can join me. If not, if you're watching the recording, thank you for watching. Hello, I see a lot of you jumping on. Hi, Denise. Denise is my assistant and we both live here in, right outside San Antonio, Texas, and it has been disgusting this week. Muggy and warm and just like wet and rainy and foggy and gross. We're tired of it. I know that's probably, I probably shouldn't complain because I know a lot of you up there have like ice and horrible weather, but I need something different. <laughs> warm, hot, humid, and muggy is my least favorite kind of weather. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. I hope you've had a great week. I'm going to find you real quick, make sure I am in the right place, share you over to my other page just in case people can't find me and open it so I can see your comments. So today is all about Lovely Lily Pad. It is in the Celebration Catalog, which looks like this. Hopefully you have one. If you don't have one and you need one, I'd be happy to send it to you. I was joking earlier today that this should be called the Catalog of Free because that's what it is. Everything in here is free with a purchase. Most of the items are free with a $50 purchase, and um, some of the items are free with a $100 purchase. And the reason they're that way is because they're worth more. A set of dies is free with a $100 purchase because they are you know, if you were to buy them, they are more expensive than say just a stamp set. So there's tiered levels in here, just two, um, $50 and $100. And I'm using a bunch of celebration stuff today. Um, so you can kind of get a look and see what you like, what you can't live without. And you have until the end of March to take advantage of this catalog. And just a little insider information, we have a second release coming March, in March, and it actually says on here, so it's not really all that <laughs> secret, but I looked it up yesterday and it said March 2nd, we'll have more celebration items coming. So more free items in March added to this. Um, also another little insider bit of information, um, February 4th, we have some coordination items coming um, that coordinate with a few of the things in here. If you were around last year, you may remember some dies that cut out some things. Um, also coordinating products that coordinate with the spring catalog. Um, so stay tuned because I will be showing you all of those. Just more ways for you to earn free stuff, right? Okay, so I see lots of you on here. Welcome, everybody. This is my Facebook Live every week. I go live on Fridays at 2 o'clock Central, um, unless my kids have some schedule conflict, which doesn't happen very often, um, or if I'm sick, which has only happened once. <laughs> um, but I usually pick one product and design three projects, give you three different ways to use it. So this week, it's all about the lovely lily pad stamp set along with the coordinating products. Now, if you hop over to my blog, let's see... Where did my PDF go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I had a, a typo, shocker, and so I discovered it while I was recording the clean recordings earlier today, and so I, I corrected it, and it should be um, corrected over on my blog now. Anyway, so pinkbuggeroo.com, hop over there, today's post, you scroll down under the, the last photo, there's a link, and you can get the PDF, it's free has all the products that I use in case you're curious, as well as all the measurements, the measurements here especially that you'll need. So you can hop over there and get that. And um, if you would like to put in an order this weekend and you use this the host code that, that is connected to Facebook Friday, I'll send you today's projects for free in the mail next week. Um, last week we did the Parisian Beauty. So here's the make and takes. They went out on Wednesday, they come like this. I send you a little thank you tag. Here's the week before when we did the kickoff, the spring catalog kickoff. So they're free. I really do send them to you. And then you have three projects to use. And you can order anything that you wanna order. You don't have to order necessarily what I'm showing you. You can order anything that you want or need. Um, but um, as long as that order is in by Monday at midnight, use the host code. You'll see it when I turn the camera and it's on the PDF. Um, and your order is minimum $35. I'll send them to you for free. Okay, so we have um, prizes. I always give prizes away to um, two people who shared the video. This week, it's Kathy Schmidt and Donna Raimondo. And I know it's backwards. 
but I think if that's your name, you'll recognize it backwards. Ladies, I don't believe I have your mailing addresses. Please message me, okay? Um, you have two weeks to claim these. All right, this week I have new prizes. I have this Will Walrus Be Friends. This is from the annual catalog, and I kept thinking I'm gonna use that a ton in the winter, and I haven't used it at all. So we need to pull it out and use it. It's not only for the winter, but I just think of the walrus in the winter. So I have two of these to give away uh, to two people who share the video on Facebook this week. Oh, darn it, I meant to put him up this week. Um, he has been awful, that's my nine and a half year old schnauzer grumpy old man and he has barked at everything i mean if i make a movement too sudden he's barking i don't know if his hearing is going or what but i apologize i meant yes i'm talking to you he's looking at me he knows i'm talking to him um i meant to put him up but i forgot okay i'm gonna switch you around um because i do want to tell you about the classes today's the very last day i'm gonna cover you up and switch you around so close your eyes for a second um Valentine class that I'm offering, the From My Heart class to go. The rip but I think I have enough. I frantically put in an order, guesstimating how many I would need. I do believe that I ordered the right amount, fingers crossed. But if not, it's coming in, I think maybe at the end of next week. So we'll have it. All right, microphone plugged in. Can you hear me? Yeah, we call him the grumpy old man. He's totally a grumpy old man. He, um, we rescued Charlie when he was two and he came from the streets. <laughs> so he doesn't trust anybody except us. He's, he's fun. Okay. Here's the, <laughs> from my heart. If you could see how my husband like cradles him every night, you would laugh because he acts like he's so tough, but both of them act like they're so tough, but they snuggle. Anyhow, here's the, from my heart class. Today's the very, 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 very last day. You, all you have to do is put in an order and you order either the bundle and the um, embellishments or anything else you want that's equal to that amount. Use the host code and I'm gonna send you, my, my goal is to have them out in the mail by next Friday, these six projects and a free bolt of ribbon, okay? That is my gift to you. So six projects. I'm a little bit in a panic because I thought I had already ordered the cardstock and it didn't come today and I looked it up and I never ordered it. So now I'm in a little bit of panic. Next week is show week for 4-H and it's gonna be busy, but you know, I can do it. I can cut them and I can get them in the mail by Friday, right? Y'all believe in me? I think I can. Anyhow, here we go. These. This is the class deadline today. If you put your order in on Sunday, it doesn't count, okay? You've gotta put it in today. Um, for the details on this, specific details, go to my blog, pinkbugger.com. There's a photo at the bottom of that class. Click on that link and it'll take you exactly over to the post that tells you all the details. The second class that I have is the piece, the, what am I calling this? Suddenly I can't say it, Peaceful Poppies class. I was looking at the names of the stamp sets. It's five cards and two 3D projects. You buy, you can get it, this one you register for. You don't actually put this order in yourself. You can get the um, class with the bundle or without the bundle. And both options include the elements and the, the seam binding. Um, you can add on aqua painters if you need them. You can add on the Peaceful Moments bundle if you want it. They are both at a slight discount if you add them to your class and you get free celebration items with that, with option one. There is a PDF option, PDF only option for both of these classes. Um, you just have to scroll down on the post and you'll see it. Here is, here are the details on the PDF. The From My Heart deadline today, Poppies is next Friday, and then the starter kit special. I have made a new starter kit. I would like to show you guys what you could get in your starter kit. Remember during celebration, Back here, you can get the details. When you join, when you buy the starter kit during celebration, it's $99, no shipping. So $99 plus tax, whatever that is in your state. You get $125 worth of product of your choice. So my $125 of product, this time, I made up a little, um, ooh, I, that stamp set is over here, where'd it go? Hold on, hold on, close your eyes, don't look. This one, I'm using it today. This one goes in here too. Okay, so you would get, you could get the two bundles, the Under My Umbrella and Timeless Tulips with their coordinating punches, 
a pack of DSP, another little stamp set, cute, welcome Easter, the Memento Black and the watercolor pencils to color your images, right, for these two, um, and a pack of white paper, because everybody needs white paper, that would bring you to $125, and you would get that for just $99. Now that's the deal all the time. But during celebration, you also get, but wait, there's more. You get this fun baby trimmer. That's what I call him, the baby trimmer. You get him for free. We're gonna use him today. You also get to add on an additional stamp set of your choice. Go for the most expensive. I know you want to, it's fine. We all do, look down your wish list. This one's expensive, well said. That would be my free choice. And then a paper sampler. They send you a, a sampler of paper. So it's an amazing deal. Oh, and a paper pumpkin kit too. All for what? $99. And then you can enjoy your discount, which is starting 20% for the next, at least through June 30th. If you know that's how long you have to make your minimums. You can drop off and become a customer again, or you can stay and take advantage of my fun team, all my free PDFs, you get them all free, discounts on my class kits, and then you just get to be a, a part of my team, which is fun. So if you're interested in that, details here, click on that link, or just message me, and I would be happy to talk to you about it, okay? I like to make little examples of the starter kit so you can see what you get. Last announcement, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Everybody who spends $50 with me online gets this mailed to them, emailed, not mailed, <laughs> emailed for free. It's uh, 12 tutorials um, by 12 different demonstrators. And here's mine this month, okay? Um, we're starting a new round next month where you can subscribe if you want to be a subscriber and just buy it. Maybe you're already a demonstrator or you have a demonstrator, um, but you want the tutorials. So um, that is coming. Details on that is coming next week. So make sure you look for that post if you would like to get in on that. Okay, let me get a little drink and let's get started. I think I covered everything. I totally am ignoring you guys. Hello, yes, Ginger is here too. Warm and gross outside and just rain. Um, Gina Rice, I see your, your um, you don't, you need catalogs. Send me an instant, uh, instant message, is that what we call it? What do they call it? DM, direct message? <laughs> just message or email me. I'll be happy to send them to you. Debbie says, how does Charlie get along with Miss Millie? And Miss Millie is my mom's, um, corgi puppy we got at christmas for her and charlie is he tolerates her she's madly in love with both him and our other schnauzer mac and they are like girl you got too much energy because they're both old um but they they tolerate her fine she loves playing with them and wishes kind of like a little sister would be to a big brother you know kind of like get out of here we're annoyed but they do play here he comes he knows what i'm talking about him Okay, so here's what we're doing today. Three projects. Um, this lily pad, lily, what do you call lily pad flower? It's not called a lily, it's called a what? I can't think of it, it's called something else. Anyway, um, this flower, we'll call it the flower. I'm gonna show you three different ways basically to color it in, and we're gonna make three different projects. I'm gonna show you how to make the desktop calendar that I have been teasing you with for, for a couple of weeks over on my blog. All right, let me get situated here. Um, here's the host code. If you're gonna put your order in and you want the make and takes for free, here it is. And you can find it, of course, on my blog and on the PDF. Okay, I have to see if it's straight. Mm, nope. You know, there's a, if you've never done a Facebook Live, there's an, it's about eight seconds, eight second delay. So when I do something and then I look over on the iPad, I can't see what I'm doing for eight seconds. It's pretty annoying. Okay, we're ready. In your celebration catalog, on page four and five, you'll see the lovely lily pad. Um, it is it's a lotus flower, is that what it's called? Water lily, that's what I was thinking. We're, okay, I've got two different things, lotus and water lily. Uh, Millie is watching and annoying me, that's my mom. 
Hi, Millie. <laughs> She's in the terrible twos right now, Miss Millie. Um, here's the stamp set and here are the dies. So the stamp set is free with a $50 purchase. Lily pad dies are free with a hundred purchase. And then this, which I just, I, I have to say is probably my favorite thing in the whole catalog, this paper, and it's free with a $50 purchase. So I'm going to show you the paper. Um, I love the paper and I think it's because of the colors, the color combinations. It's very textured. Somebody obviously painted this. It looks like with a palette, right, mom? Um, and then they, whatever they do, photographed it to turn it into paper. And then the other side has these awesome paint uh, smears. This looks like the side of my daughter's desk. <laughs> um, but you can see the colors are amazing. Melon Mambo, you know, my favorite. And then here are the purples. And on the back, we've got more Melon Mambo. Here is one that has more of the green with those pops of pink. Here's for the purple lovers. I love this because it has that orange and yellow in it, which is, you know, an opposite color, so it pops. There's some more paint texture. And this one's kind of dark, like the, the pond at night. It's beautiful. On the back is purple. And then this one, this is the one we're gonna use in our first project. And I keep saying, I think this is my favorite. I have two fav, mm, yeah, I, th I have two favorites in this pack. And I think this is one of them. I love the colors of Grapefruit Grove and Coastal Cabana. It, well, it's Bermuda Bay. Um, and there's Bermuda Bay on the back. Um, but that's what we're gonna use today. If you love that paper, remember you can get it for free with every $50 purchase. Um, and I have actually gotten a ton of it because I love it so much. Okay. Here we go, here's our first card. And I wanna point out, again, mentioning the color combinations. Um, when you get this paper, don't don't hoard it. It's free, cut it up, use it. And you can make a bunch of these cards, um, but just by changing the color of your cardstock and your ink, you could make the flower and the rectangle different colors to match the paper that you choose. So let's make the flower first. Um, this, I have, I'm using these stamps several times, so I have them all over the place. Let me get what I need. I thought I had it. Here we go. This um, flower, this stamp set is one of those reversible stamps. So you can stamp it on one side and you get the outline, which is what we're gonna do here in Grapefruit Grove. Oh, I didn't stamp it very well. Let's try that again. Did you know that's why cardstock has two sides? So that when you mess up, <laughs> well, let's go back. That one's better. Cardstock should have more than two sides, I guess, huh? Oh, wait, we got to fill it in. That's all right. If you ever have that problem with your photopolymer stamps, um, the bigger the stamp, the more often um, or the more likely you are to have a problem where it won't stamp in one area. If you get some kind of foam, um, you can use our piercing mat. You can use um, fun foam from the craft store. That gives it a cushion and it really improves your stamping. I should have pulled mine out, but you know what? It hasn't done that one time. I've stamped it probably 80 times in the last week and it hasn't done that one time. Um, now, this is what I'm talking about reversible. We stamped it on this side. Now I'm gonna flip it over to the back and I need my scratch paper, let me get that. So now we've got a solid on the back. I'm gonna stamp that. You know, is this how today is gonna be? Hold on. I need some Jeopardy music. You know when you <laughs> have used your stamps so much and then they're not very sticky anymore? I think that's where we're at. Hmm. All right, let's resume. Now back for regularly scheduled program. Okay. I have stamped it off like that, and now I'm gonna stamp it to fill in the flower. Now, this is not designed to be the same shape as the outline. It's kind of supposed to be an abstract wash. <laughs> okay, so don't flip it over and freak out and say, something is wrong with my stamp, it doesn't line up, it's not right. It's not supposed to. It's supposed to be abstract. Now, we're gonna do the same thing here with a lily pad. And by the way, if your photopolymers lose their stickiness, do you guys know how to fix that? Dawn dish soap. Just go give them a bath, get all the oil from your fingers off, and Dawn will make them brand spanking new. 
you can tell that that one has been used a lot. All right, the lily pad, I'm doing the same thing. Solid, stamp off. And by the way, I think I mentioned earlier, I made clean recordings of these already. So if you wanna come back and watch one of these projects without all the silly talking and the dogs barking and all that, they will be on my YouTube channel by tonight. They're already filmed. I'm just in the process of uploading them. All right, so now we're gonna do the little flower. Yes, you know what? Karen makes a great point. The Stamparatus helps with that a lot. If you have um, a stamp that is giving you problems because it's too big and there's, it's like there's an air bubble in there, the Stamparatus definitely helps with that. For one, you can stamp it again because it's in exactly the same position. That is a great point, Karen. Okay, so let's cut these out. We've got the matching dies. Yay, we love matching dies. And I need this one. The one that I stamped first is on, oh, I stamped those a little bit too close. All right, we're gonna have to do two at one, I mean, two different times. Um, the flower that I stamped the first time is on a stitched so sweetly die. Did I say it right? I feel like I always I always type it wrong. So yeah, stitched so sweetly, stitched so sweetly. <laughs> it's in the new spring catalog, and I'm pretty much using those dies on every single project. I love them. All right, we've got our small flower. Now we're just going to start layering things up. All right, our funky flower that didn't stamp right is going to be just fine because we're going to cover it up. You know, every mistake is just an opportunity to embellish. Now I'm going to take this, I cut this out of Grapefruit Grove. I'm going to stick it down with a glue dot, but in fact, I really didn't need that glue dot because I'm just gonna take a dimensional and put it right on top of there. Get my lily pad and put that there over it, okay? So now that it's, look, you can't even tell that there was a mistake. But that, that dimensional will sandwich that flower in and you can let, then put your lily pad on top of it. All right, so there we go, we've got it layered. Now our sentiment comes from another stamp set called Power of Hope. The lily pad set doesn't have any sentiment, so I pulled this. This is another celebration item. I really like this set. I didn't think I would, but I have used it a lot. Um, today is a day for new beginnings. I like that, that sentiment. So we're gonna stamp that in Bermuda Bay. Robin, hi. All right, now I'm gonna stamp that right there in Bermuda Bay. Did I say that? I think I already said that. And then where's my little baby? Here's my little baby, the baby trimmer. You can only get it free in a starter kit and it is awesome. And yes, I, I got rid of the guard because I like to live dangerously. So if you're looking at it and it looks weird, it's because I took the finger guard off. All right, so I just trimmed that. I'm gonna cut that at an angle. I'm gonna remove a little bit of that cardstock. And then I'm gonna slide this in here like that. Okay, so there we have our layered flower. Now we just need to put our card together. I have a Grapefruit Grove card base and I have cut that DSP. DSP stands for Designer Series Paper. It's a fancy word for pattern paper. I've cut that down to five by, I mean uh, four by five and a fourth. And I'm gonna put a piece of vellum here, all these measurements over on that PDF. Don't worry about the adhesive showing through your vellum because look, we're just gonna put this right there. This is also from the Stitched So Sweetly dies and it is a Bermuda Bay scalloped stitched rectangle. And then you see all the dimensionals. I just can't help myself, I love them. I need lots of the dimensionals. And then we'll put that right there. Now, we need a white seam binding bow. By the way, this is on low inventory. So if you need it and you want it, get it soon. If it goes on back order, you'll still be able to order it. 
but if you're like me and you know you need it before then, if you can't wait, then order it today. All right, put that right there. Now I felt like I needed just a little something else. So I'm taking my sequins. These are the poppy sequins that go with a poppy suite. And I don't know why my adhesive is so far back. I'm going to use my fine tip glue. I'm going to add a couple of dots and they say you should do things in odd numbers. So I did five and now I'm going to use my take your pick tool. Hi Stacy. I'm glad you caught me. Good. Although we've, it's been kind of a comedy of air so far today. Well, I can't, now I can't see my glue dot. There it is right there. <laughs> okay. Then where is it? I'm using the clear, the clear sequins. You could use your rhinestones. You could use, um, the other sequins. We have some adhesive back sequins that I like a lot. And then you don't have to worry about your glue dots. And there we go. Ta-da! What do you guys think? You know, you could change the sentiment to anything. Happy birthday. Um, thank you. Thinking of you. This would probably be a nice thinking of you or, you know, I'm sorry card. All right. So there we go. Project one is done. I hope you guys like it. This is... Um, this is a set that I truly have been using every day. I really do like it. And I like that it's free. <laughs> All right, let's do something else. Let's make this bag. Now this bag, hold on, I have to clean up my mess. I can't stand when I see my video scrolling through and it's a mess. Okay, we're done with this. Let me put that back there. This bag is a gift bag um, that's tall and skinny, and it's based on a bag my friend Rhonda Wade did. Um, last year, she did this really cute gift bag that had a hanging card on it. So I thought I would, would try it out and do it a little bit differently. Um, this is a card that just hangs right on the bag. Can you see that? Isn't that neat? And the card will just come out, so you have you know, a greeting card. Can you see how I did that? I'm going to show you. All right. Now, of course, we're going to use this gorgeous paper. I think we're going to use a different pattern this time. I'm going to use this one. Um, cut off one inch from the top of your paper, okay? So that your paper is 10, no, no, sorry, 11 by 12. All right. Now, on the 12 inch side, we're going to score it at one and three fourths five and three fourths, seven and a half, and this is where I messed up earlier. Let me check myself. One, two, three, yeah, 11 and a half. <laughs> Remember, those were over on the sheet, okay? Go print your sheet. All right, now turn it and score it at one and three fourths and 10. And on my pre-recorded um, or my clean recording, I did those measurements backwards. As long as you have a one inch and a one and three fourths inch on the bottom you'll be fine i was confusing myself it was funny all right get your bone folder and burnish those lines that top one you're going to fold forward but the rest of them you are just going to fold all of them in and burnish run that bone folder if you haven't gotten a bone folder you should they really do make a difference, a big difference. And this one especially, it's tall and you need those crisp fold lines. All right. Did I already do this one? It feels like I did. All right, now, on the bottom, you've got this, on the side, you've got this skinny piece over here. And I want you to cut out the bottom rectangle and the top rectangle, the little corners. Okay, so it looks like that. See how I did that? And then over here, cut this at an angle, cut this at an angle, down here. 
Okay, so you've just made that tab at an angle. It's big, it's hard to see. Now, down here at the bottom, cut these score lines. My girls are always wanting to take their friends a birthday gift and they, they buy them candy. That's like their favorite thing at school. And they're always wanting little gift bags. So I was like, you know, I could make a ton of these and just have them ready. You could have them flat and then just assemble them. I don't know, I thought that was, you know, we all have a, a bunch of 12 by 12 paper, most of us do. So it's one way to kind of get, get some use out of your 12 by 12 paper. All right, so we're gonna fold this down. I'm gonna put adhesive along that and fold it towards the front, okay? Now, I'm gonna put adhesive. It looks like I may have scored that crooked. I don't know, for some reason that looks crooked. I guess we'll see. And I'm gonna fold it over, oh yeah. Hmm, let's see. Can I fix it? Yeah, we're just gonna make it crooked. Hmm, I'd have to embellish that. Pretend like you didn't see that. I didn't line it up on the scoring. Um, simply scored straight, boo. All right, well there we go, there's your bag. Can you see that? Now, the that ugly side is the back for sure, but you want this as the front. So, take your sides, your little side tabs, fold them in, put some adhesive here on the back, and then do the front. Fold in the front last so that so that you have all smooth edges fold smooth rolled edges okay so there's your back easy peasy except when you <laughs> don't score it straight but you know what it's still pretty all right now we've got this piece here this is the piece that we cut off um, at the beginning we're gonna cut it to four inches and we're gonna just add this it's gonna be kind of camouflaged because it's the same pattern as the paper. And I'm using my fine tip glue pen because I want to put a very narrow line of glue on the edges. And we'll put it, let's put it about right, I feel like it needs to be higher, about right there. All right, so if I used a thick adhesive like my tape runner here, I feel like it would be, the opening would be too narrow and I need it to be a little bit wider. So that's why I use the fine tip glue just right on the edges. Okay, so now we're gonna let that dry so you can see how that's gonna hang. It looks like I didn't do it high enough, let's see. Will it be okay before it dries? Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's make the card. Let me pull the card out and get the rest of my supplies which are hiding down here under my Simply Scored. We're gonna make a little card. This is not a full size card. This piece, the card base is, oh, I thought I could rem I remember from the top of my head. Let me look at my paper. It is three and a fourth, okay? Three and a fourth wide, and it's eight and a half this way, and then I scored it at four and a fourth. I cut a piece of Whisper White Thick that is three by four, and I already embossed it with a corrugated embossing folder. I love that one. I'm gonna put that right there on the front like that. Now, let's do some splatter on our card front. Just right there, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna take my Bermuda Bay Stampin' Blend and just flick a little bit of ink using the lid. See how I did that? Whoops, okay. Now, we've got that. Now let's stamp our Lotus, yes. Maybe, what was the other one you guys were telling me? Um, water Lily? We don't need that one, we need this one. All my stamps are backwards now. All right, now I'm gonna stamp this in Melon Mambo. Okay, mm, let's try that again. I should get my Stamparatus out, that's what I should do. What in the world? All right. Let's just start over. You know, it's like your kids. They're well behaved and then you take them out and they just wanna show off. That's what's happening here. All right. Ta-da, that's better. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. What is happening? Okay, let's do the lily. This time I'm doing it in, um, 
What am I doing it in? I am so distracted by that. It's annoying me. Um, shaded spruce. Now this time, instead of coloring it in, we're going to take the Wink of Stella. And we're just going to go all over it. And the Wink of Stella will pick up that ink and give it all some color. It's like an aqua painter. I didn't add anything to it. It's just pulling the ink from um, the, you know, the stamped image. Now, one thing that I did do, you know what, I think I did do something different. Let's try something different. I said that I used my Stampin' Blends, but you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I did this. Ooh, look, I'm just gonna get a little bit of ink and just go in there and add in some shading. Yeah, I think that's what I did. See that? Just a little bit adding it behind those petals. Now you could use your Stampin' Blends and that's what I did in my clean recording and it didn't look the same. And I was thinking, what did I do differently? And I think this is what I did. Now, don't worry about your, your Wink of Stella because it's gonna run clean like you would an aqua painter, okay? So just take it over to your scrap paper and it's clean. All right, so let's do the same to the lily pad. This is a fun project. You know, this bag can be altered to be different sizes. You could do shorter and fatter. You could do, you know, all kinds of things. But I wanted to use one full sheet. All right, let's cut these out. Sarah says, I love Wink. Yes, I love Wink of Stella too. I end up using it a lot. All right, now I've worked myself into a small corner. I have stuff everywhere. Where did the dies go? Did I leave them on the other tray? Yep, there they are right there. All right. I hope I'm not the only one who loses stuff when she's crafting. I know I'm not. I know you guys do it too. All right, so let's use these dies again. We're gonna use the big one and the lily pad. And we're gonna cut these out. Okay. Do we need this again? I can't remember. Yeah, I think we do, but I'm gonna put this down here. All right, now where's our card? Let's get those dimensionals. And we'll start with the lily pad. And I did it off centered, off to the left. Okay, oh, oh, kind of sticking out a little bit. We don't have to worry about this card going in an envelope. So it can stick out a little bit. And then the flower, oh, it's so pretty. And then I did ribbon right here. This is the Grapefruit Grove. Um, grow grain, make a little bow. If you look in the catalog, it'll tell you all the colors that are in this paper. And there's a lot of colors in this paper, a lot. So you really could use a lot of different ribbons, a lot of different things to coordinate. All right, now for the inside. And I should have done this earlier when I was stamping, but we'll just do it. I'm gonna stamp this flower like that, the same way in Melon Mambo. And I'm gonna color it in. This is on the inside. <laughs> and I decided that this needed to be a birthday bag. So I'm gonna use a stamp set from, oh, I put it in the starter kit. Remember the tulip set. The tulip set has really cute sentiments. Let me grab it. Timeless tulips, and it has a matching punch. But look at those, aren't they pretty? I love the scripty fonts. Looks like somebody's really nice handwriting. All right, happy birthday down here, like that. Memento black, and then let's add a little bit more of this. A little more flicking. And 
there you have your card. I have to read, I lost an ink pad cardstock in DSP today. It was hiding right in front of my face. Kathy, you made me feel so much better. Every, it's always right in front of your face, right? When you lose it. I always say if it was a snake, it would have bit me. All right, and then that card just slides right on that piece. Can you see how that is? And there you have it. So fun and really think about all the different ways you could do this. You could use the golden honey paper with a, the honeybee stamp set. You could use the golf paper, the, the um, country club paper and the stamps. I mean, just really any theme. Easy, right? And cute. So cute. Now my girls will probably be like, mm, I don't like that. They're very much, I don't like that. Do y'all, do y'all, those that have teenagers, I'm sure you understand. I'm sure your teenagers do. Can't just be my teenagers. Well, the 11 year old is not a teenager yet, is becoming the worst at that. All right, let's clean up and we've got one more project. Ooh, I'm running ahead of time this week. I thought these were gonna take me a long time. The next one may take me a little bit of time because we're going to use pigment sprinkles. Oh, have you guys used pigment sprinkles yet? Pigment sprinkles are awesome but they're very messy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some tips on it, but we're gonna make this calendar. You can see I've done this one in the melon mambo sprinkles and this one in the grape sprinkles. I think that I, like, I think I like this one better, but I don't know, I like them both. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? All right, let's make the calendar first. Let's get that out of the way and then we'll do the messy part. We'll save the messy part for last. I did it earlier today for the clean recording and I was very proud of myself. I'm not covered in it. Usually my hands are super messy, but not this time. Okay, so we're gonna put this together. Let's let's construct the, the calendar. These little calendars, I'll show you in just a second. Um, you're, they're awesome. This is a Highland Heather card base. That's all it is. Um, a full sheet of cardstock cut at four and a fourth and scored at five and a half. And then, I'm gonna add this D DSP right in the middle, four by five and a fourth. And then I'm gonna put the calendar. Now the calendars are from Tailored Expressions. Let me show you, tailoredexpressions.com. Um, you click on shop and then calendars. And I think they're 10 for $3. Um, and they're awesome. Somebody told me though that they are back ordered right now. But um, they, they come in and they're awesome. The, th the reason I like them so much is because they're all white. There's no color on them. I've ordered them from other places and they had like red and looked a little, I don't know, more industrial. I don't, more like in an office somewhere that's, you know, sterile. But I like these. They're all white and you can make them, um, you can, they can go with anything. It's not, the red's not there to clash. All right, this little piece we're gonna put right here and we're gonna stamp the Enjoy Today. And that's from Good Morning Magnolia, which is an annual catalog stamp set. Um, it's a two set, two box set. Is that what we call it? Comes in two, two stamp cases because it's a big set. Now I cannot for the life of me stamp this straight. Let's see how I do. Nope. Every time I have to stamp it once and then stamp it again. There we go. It, it goes up on the end and I, it, I don't know, for some reason I just can't get it. All right, so enjoy today. I thought that was a good sentiment. It's fun to look through your stamp sets and see what sentiments will go with the calendars because there's lots of things you could do. Um, you just need to look through what you have and see, but I thought that was a really good one. All right, now you can leave it like that. that paper is beautiful enough. This is a piece of Highland Heather that is four inches by five and a half and I have scored it at half, two and three fourths and five. And remember, it's all in the PDF. Just go over there to pinkbuckaroo.com and you'll find it under the last photo. All right, now, oh, I guess I should tell you. See how I folded that like a tent? And then I put adhesive right there on the tabs and I'm gonna put it right in the middle and put adhesive there and close it. And then that's what it looks like. 
That way it'll sit on someone's desk without sliding out. You know, when you have a, a card, a lot of times it'll just slide out, but this will keep it from sliding. And I know that a lot of you have told me you love these. I send them out and uh, you use them all year. I use them all year too. And this year I considered not sending them because it's a ton of work in December, but I just had to. So I sent them out to some, not everybody. I just couldn't make everybody one, but now you know how to make your own. All right, now let's get to the sprinkles. We're gonna stamp, let's see, we need this one and the big one. We're gonna stamp these on shimmer white cardstock. And the reason I chose shimmer white be is because um, shimmer white and our watercolor paper handle the water a lot better than just whisper white. And we're going to use a lot of water. All right. Now, I'm going to rub my embossing buddy all over it because we're going to emboss it in white embossing powder. Basically, what we're doing is an emboss resist technique. It's resisting. The image will resist the ink. Um, okay, we're going to use Versamark. That's a clear ink. And one thing I found with this is because you don't know how it's going to turn out. So I like to stamp two. That way I, I have two to choose from. Okay, so let's do that. Looks like I didn't clean them very well or my chamois needs to be cleaned because they're stamping pink. Oopsies. All right, now my white embossing powder. Somebody asked me about this container this week. Um, this is like from TJ Maxx. I've seen them at Target. They are, I don't even think they have a brand name. I think they're like sandwich containers or... Well, it's not the shape of a sandwich. I guess just little leftover containers. And then this little scoop is the pot that the embossing powder comes in. So it's a lot easier to just do it right over that into the pot, like, I mean, into the box. All right, so see that? There we go. Now I actually did um, one of these ahead of time because we're gonna do two different colors. We're gonna heat this up now that we've got it with the white powder. It's gonna take a little bit of time, maybe a minute. So if you need to run to the bathroom, <laughs> now's your chance. I hope that you guys are safe. I know I was just seeing that a um, airplane slid off the runway in Kansas City because of the ice. That is very scary. Weather in the winter, you just never know, but it's been kind of a warm winter for you guys too up north, right? Weird. I don't like it because we're so hot in the summer. I want it to be cold in the winter, you know, all two months that we have a winter down here. But you get what you get, right? All right. So I've done two of the big ones, two of the small ones. Oh, Lisa, you have your calendar. I'm so glad. They make a nice gift. And you can mail those. They'll fit right in an envelope. You know, instead of sending Christmas cards, you can send New Year's, Happy New Year's with a calendar. That would be nice. Oh, Debbie, you're expecting snow. Debbie, are you in Michigan? Is that right? Ooh, I know. It's cold up there. Okay, now... I'm going to tape it down to a piece of cardboard because we're going to put lots of water and the water will um, make the paper curl up. Oh, Wisconsin. Close, right, Debbie? Not too far, I think. Up, way up north. Way up north. Farther, farther than I am. Much farther than I am. Okay, now I've done two of these. Look, I did one ahead of time. So we have two and we're going to do one in Melon Mambo and one in Gorgeous Great. Now here's my tip. Get some press and seal to keep in your craft room. And the, the pigment sprinkles go everywhere. The first time I used them, I had it, the Melon Mambo, I had it everywhere. There's even a stain on my light, on my fan switch from when I, that day I had it on my hands. I made a huge mess that day. Oh look, I am a little bit inky. But um, get press and seal and cover your workspace. Um, that way you've kind of sealed it all in and then you can just peel it up and roll it in a ball and throw it away. Um, 
I got my cutting board from the kitchen and did that. I thought that would be easier than having to set this up during Facebook Live. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So these these are them. You can see the colors that they come in. Um, Melon Mambo and Gorgeous Grape are, of course, my favorites. And there's two different ways really to do this. I'm going to show you two. Well, there's lots of different ways, but I'm going to show you the two different ways that I do. Um, the first way, this is a spritzer I have filled with water. Uh oh, it's half full. Hopefully we don't run out. And then I have an aqua painter also. And you want it to have paper towels too. All right, so I'm going to just spray it. And then I'm going to take my pigment sprinkles. And I'm just going to sprinkle it into that water and it's going to just kind of go. Now you can move it around like this. You can get your aqua painter and you can just kind of move it around. Or you can take your spritzer and spritz it, which I like to do. I feel like it's kind of, I don't know, the, the air it moves it around. But you're going to just kind of fill it in and you want it to be kind of messy. You want some dark spaces and light spaces. And the more water you use, the lighter it'll be. The more sprinkles you use, the darker it'll be. And then I take my paper towels and just kind of sop up all that extra water. And then I set it out to dry. Isn't it beautiful? Different, very different. Um, you can see some of it will be dark, some of it will be light. And the white, um, embossing resists the color so the color is just filling in all of that um, that that image yes this is backing from designer series paper you can also use you know just cardboard a piece of a cardboard box you could use back of notebooks a cereal box cardboard oh my daughter's home okay guys get ready Charlie's gonna go crazy this time I'm gonna take and instead of getting it wet first I'm gonna um, sprinkle it he already knows she's here. She hasn't even gotten out of the car. Yes, sir, we hear you. Oh, he's very huffy. All right, so I've sprinkled it. Now let's see what happens when I spray it. Ooh, I think I like that better than the other way. Isn't that fun? So fun. Charlie, that's enough. It's just Ellie. She had finals this week, so she's getting off early. He's barking at you. Yes. Oh, she's just lollygagging. Get inside, teenager. Get lollygagging. All right, now we've got those. You're gonna wanna set those. <laughs> You're gonna set those aside and let them dry. And I would give them a good 30 minutes. Turn on your ceiling fan, look at my hands. I also sometimes use the bag, uh, not the bags, the gloves, you know, like the food prep gloves. I'm sorry, you guys. Ellie, please pet him. He's barking like crazy and I'm doing a Facebook Live. <laughs> All right, here I have some that are already dry, you guys. Look at these. Gorgeous, right? Gorgeous. I can't decide which ones I like better, but I think just so that it pops off the, the page, I'm going to use the pink ones. So after they're dry, you use your, your um, dyes. You cut them out. And we'll put them on. I'm so sorry, Jen. Yes, your puppies are going fun, are going crazy probably too. Mom is Millie hearing her BFF barking. Um, now this one, I have cut a, oh my gosh, this time I did make a mess. I have cut an old olive little, what do you call it, a little sprout or a little stem. And I'm going to glue dot it, turning that into a verb, glue dot it behind this one like that and then trim off that stem oh I did the purple one well we could do the purple Ooh, maybe I do like that instead of we'll do one of each I didn't think I would like the two but I do and put that right there nice last thing of course is a bow we need a bow whisper white bow look at that isn't that pretty I love it all right, grab the Whisper White. Thanks, Linda. The sprinkles are so much fun. Um, just, you know, like prepare yourself. Don't wear your white blouse and your, you know, your white pants. Um, put on an apron maybe and cover your work surface and then go to town. Line up some, you know, I like to, when I'm playing, I like to just tape a bunch of paper down to pieces of um, 
cardboard and then just play and and just add the colors different amounts of water to get different textures and then you can do you can stamp on them you can die cut them you can do any you know all kinds of things and there we have it what do you guys think fun right I love these um, and if you didn't want to make a calendar just take the calendar off and move this stuff down to about like right there and then you have a beautiful card that shows off that gorgeous paper in the back all right all right we made it with only 87 barking interruptions got to set a reminder to lock him up um, let's look let's see what we did we made the calendars we made this card and we made the fun little gift bags so if you haven't decided whether you like the lovely lily pads or not hopefully I have I have convinced you um, the colors are bright and it's very versatile you can see you get different color palettes with each page um, but still sticking within the same you know grouping of colors all right, you guys, thank you so much today. Remember, put your order in by Monday at midnight um, using this host code, $35 or more, and I will send you one, two, three projects to make at home um, for free as a thank you. And don't forget, today is the last day for the Valentine's class. If you want the Valentine's class, you've got to get that order in by tonight. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Stay warm. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next Friday with Valentine treats. All right, we're going to do a bunch of Valentine treats next week. Bye, guys.